Hello, everyone. Everybody I see is very excited. So we're going to wait for our special guest to get here. But Tom Jr. is the special guest today. But I also thought that Tom Jr. and I discussed it would also have his, a picture of his dad here just for an extra, an extra, um, you know. So how's everybody doing today? Thomas Markle is like one of the most hysterical people in the entire world. And, um, he, you know, he's been taking a lot of flack the past couple of days. So it'll get, be good to talk to him about that. And he was he was taking the flack from about the, hey, Chris Boozy breath. <laughs> he's been taking a lot of flack in the media about the wig and the moon bump that he, well, pillow that he wore. I mean, it's absolutely hysterical. I mean, it, it's hysterical. So that went over like a lead balloon. Probably like this will go over like a lead balloon. So let me say hi to everybody. Hi, Maggie P. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Scott. Marsha Toms. Doggy Lover. Rhea Shakespeare. Debbie... In Ines Inns, um, David Murphy, Sandy South, Linda Wagner, Marissa, Julian Lewis. Hey, Jumba. So, what do you guys want me to talk to him today about? I know what I want to talk to him about, but if there's anything that you guys have, I'm sure you'll be commenting when he gets here. I keep going, CCC, I keep going on MSM channel sticking up for Tom and Sam. Yeah, they get, and Samantha, hi, Gertie Rude. Samantha has been suspended from Twitter, which we can get into that. Um, she's been suspended from Twitter. Uh, they're trying to silence them. I mean, these people get beat up so bad. And they say that Samantha and Thomas Markle Jr. are bullies, but yet they don't have the resources that Megan has. I mean, it's, it's, it's like for all of us, you know, everybody, everybody, they, they all say like, oh, they're pig, they're bullying Megan. No, we're not. Megan's the bully. She's the bully. She's got the, you know, she's got all the, I mean, she doesn't have power, but she has more power than we do. And I don't understand why they don't go after journalists. Like, why don't they go after journalists? Why do they just go after people on social media? And they'll even go after the smallest accounts. Please ask him about the call he made to Samantha about the call he received about the <laughs> about the alleged births. OK, I'll ask him that. Uh, Jody, star that so I can come back to that. Hi, Sparkles. <laughs> Sparkles. Sebaceous. <laughs> There's a couple of, of these names out there that are just absolutely ridiculous. Let me see. I gotta go back. Hello to everybody. Hey, Sue. Yeah, we're just waiting on Tom Jr. Um, he told me this morning, I think it was this morning or yesterday that he, and I don't know if he'll be wearing it or not, but that he had to prepare, he had to comb out his wig. <laughs> so, so I don't know if he's going to be wearing that or not. So I'll be okay either way, but if he wears it, it will be fantastic. Oh, here he is. <laughs> here, here he is. So without further ado, let's all give a warm welcome to uh, Thomas Markle Jr. Oh, guys, you guys. Hello, how are you? Oh, I'm late, but I'm here. Oh, that's all right. No problem. I'm, I'm, you know, it happens. I understand. You know, I'm like, I'm always like running late or I'm always in a hurry, but I'm never on time. So, yeah, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't get that much sleep last night because um, I was, I found this online auction for jar number 49 of 50 of these really high end jams out of Montecito. And I, I lost the bid because I didn't go higher than a dollar fifty. So I was really <laughs> upset. So 
<laughs> Do you like the picture of your dad? Doesn't it look great? Yeah, that's awesome. That was uh, taken at a restaurant, uh, I don't know, about six months ago. Yeah, he looks great. Oh, that was six months ago. He looks great. I don't think yeah. I've seen him lately. When's the last time he's been been on? Gosh, I don't know. I haven't been over to check on him in months. I should probably go check to see if he's got fresh water and everything. But uh, <laughs> right. Right. I was just referring so, to people were saying that, like, uh, I'm neglecting and abusing my father. I saw, saw some comments online and we know where they came from. So I just absolutely, that uh, absolutely. You know, everything comes from the source. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, the source. <laughs> the, I mean, it's it comes from the source. I'm sure that she's, you know, whether she's wa she's going to watch this. Just you because think? you're her mother. Oh uh, yeah. So you know, I'm sure this. I'm sure she's not thrilled because, as I told you, you know, I don't want to say I'm her favorite YouTuber because some of the people she showed on their documentary, documentary, but she believed. Uh, I think she showed Megan Small and Taz, but she she blurred their names out. She showed yeah. my name. So, you know, so that, that's the way that it goes. Um, I, th I think her favorite YouTuber is probably that that freaky looking guy on Sussex Squad TV. I think that's probably her her favorite I, I, one. I can't think of what he looks like. What does he look like? Oh, I don't know. He, I don't know. It's just he's just very, very annoying. I mean, she she had of course he had him or he took it on his own accord to go after me and tell all of the Sussex Squad followers to go and complain about me on YouTube. So what is the deal? And that's something I want to talk to you about. So, and I want to start with um, back whenever, like around the wedding time and some things that bothered me about that, not with you, but so I never paid her much, much mind. And, and you said that she, abandon you guys and didn't give you any help to um well you know navigate through all of these things yeah help help in that in that meeting yeah that's definitely it was just uh basically from day one disowned or whatever or just you know she just pretended that she didn't have any family so and that you know and that was the start that was the spur of um like an eye-opening experience for me because when when your life goes from a private citizen to being in the public eye and then on top of it having a smear campaign against you and all these horrible things are being said about you and all these dirt rag magazines and so when being, did the smear came, smear campaign start when they first announced that they were dating or later on I think it was just right about then, right, right around the wedding, right around before the wedding. Yeah, it was before the wedding. But anyway, make a long story short, um, I was tired of being harassed and followed and photographed by the paparazzi and all the shit being said about me in the paper. So I got, I had a friend of mine in Oregon get a hold of uh, their spokesperson for the for the palace, their PR person, which was Naomi Smith. And the end result was Megan said that's distant family, and I don't know those people. And it was just like. You know, and then on top of that, it was the ultimatum that Megan gave my father. You have to disown Tom and Samantha if you want to come to the wedding. Uh, then Coleman Rayner set him up to make him look like an ass in those photographs. Um, that's all on the Daily Beast, by the way. There's a Daily Beast article out there called The Ruthless Paparazzi. And where Coleman Rayner or Ray Jeff, Jeff Rayner brags about derailing the royal, royal wedding. To me, like... You guys are, well, at least your dad is, is a Hollywood person. And Megan grew up yeah. around all that, that stuff. That's what people in Hollywood do. They stage photos. And it's no reason to completely cut somebody. Megan, that's all she does is stage photos. I and know. Put out puff pieces. I mean, that's not like a reason to cut your father off. And don't, and I believe that she was behind that. And it was a setup. So then she could oh, not absolutely. have a wedding. Because she didn't want people to you know like say he's at like a, a table eating after at the reception and somebody would say oh well megan did this and he'd say well what do you mean same with you same with samantha same with maybe the raglan family and something else yeah. that bothers me too so they were supposed to and this is why she's a complete jerk they were supposed to from what i understand the royal family was supposed to make you guys a, a special or the markle family a special coat of arms and, and and whatever else that's called 
Yeah. She took that away from you guys. I mean, even if she was mad, like she took that away. And then, you know, if she didn't want to give it to your dad, why wouldn't she, why couldn't she give it to Doria's family? You know, that would have been like, like, you know, groundbreaking for a, a black, uh, an African-American family to have a coat of arms from the, the royal family. But she didn't do that either. She wanted her own, just yeah. her own. She didn't want to share it with anybody. Yeah, because none like, of us, well, none of us exist. That's why. So we're, we're right. just, this, I mean, this you know, right now, this, this is all in your imagination. I'm not really here. Just be, right. I mean, this is, <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. From it, Not only that, but to do that to my father who put her in that position and did everything that woman never wanted for a, a nickel in her life ever. Right. Well, there were some but, staged paparazzi photos of him looking like at a magazine. Big deal. I mean, yeah. what's the big deal about that? But they weren't. But she was behind it. Yeah, I mean, who photographs a guy buying a toilet? You know what I mean? That's a that's a life necessity. Megan should know because she's got sixteen of them, right? Right. Right. But I mean, but to put him in an embarrassing light to buy, you know, in Seven Eleven buying things and saying he's an alcoholic because they saw him buying beer. My dad doesn't drink. They he buys said the, that. He buys those for the guards, right at the little guard shacks. They said and, that? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's like... Oh, yeah. it's, it's just one thing after another since day one. And we're all just like wondering, like, who is this person? I mean, how does she... What is going on here? Um, nobody ever asked her for anything. Not one thing. We didn't want anything. I just wanted my privacy back. That's why I wrote that letter. And that letter came spot on true. Everything in that letter is, is just has been proven already. And that I, was I remember I didn't pay much attention to all of that years ago when all of that going on. And I remember seeing the news because it was worldwide news, you know, what was I going know. on with your dad and the letter and mm -hmm. everything like that. And I just thought to myself, I didn't think, oh, that's horrible for him to do. I thought to myself, it's horrible that what the media has, this whole thing has destroyed this family. And I didn't know it was actually her that was doing yeah. it. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, and, and she's playing the victim. Oh, and then, you know, walking down the aisle, she could have had Doria walk her, you know, and she, I maybe she partially didn't want your dad to come because she wanted to King Charles or Prince Charles at the time. Was he? Yeah. Prince Charles at the time to walk her down the aisle. I mean, well, I think it was all like a, a sinister plan to get the coat of arms get him to walk her down the aisle. She could have walked alone. She could have her mother do it. Yeah. Well, that's basically the end result. And I think that's like, that hits a nail on the head right there about not disowning me and Samantha. Because he told her straight out, he goes, he goes, I wouldn't disown any of my children. You know, so that right there, saying that to my dad, put probably immense pressure on him, had probably had a lot to do with his heart attack. Um, and then, and then to put out the false narrative that he was faking a heart attack and he didn't have one. When I've got you know 400 pages of medical records from him being in the hospital, it's that. Yeah, it's, it's, not, that. it's not like somebody like me saying I had a heart attack. That would be like a you know somebody saying, "Well, she's lying about that." But your father's elderly. Yes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I mean, why wouldn't he have had one? Who would lie about that? the, the yeah. reason why Megan would lie about that? You know, yeah. I believe she lied about the miscarriage, allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly, so, allegedly, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, allegedly, and everything like that. That's what she would do. I mean, it's just, it's just awful what's happened. And it wasn't the media that tore you guys apart. I mean, I'm sure that that was very hard to go through, but it was her. Yeah, it was. It was her little PR smear campaign. I mean, dead to rights. I mean, she's behind. I mean, what what happened to the news about her being behind the Sussex Squad and Boozy harassing Princess Catherine for you know? Till the you know end of days. What what happened to that? I you know, you know. I wonder because I wonder. I go back and forth with you know they suppress the media or they ha or her, you know WME or whoever or Sun Sunshine Sachs at the time. You know was suppressing these stories, and then I think to myself, maybe it's just because nobody cares about Megan. She's not important. Like they just won't pick up the story because it's not important. Well, no, there's 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 quite a big handful of the ones that are obviously paid. Like if you ever anybody ever Google's Meghan Markle news, which I do, 
that's how I that's how I base my shows, just like everybody else. I sit there right. and I find it, and then I put my spin on it, put my humor into it, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm allowed to do that. Right. But if anybody Googles Meghan Merkel news, you're gonna find probably two, maybe one or two that actually say something negative towards her. And those are the real news sources. All the other ones are so obviously paid, I laugh. I mean, I just, I write this stuff down because it makes me laugh because yeah. it's. You know, one of the most ridiculous ones, I mean, and there's been many, was like five years later after their wedding, they're like, what did Meghan Markle have blue on her for her wedding? Like, you know, like something yeah. borrowed, something blue. It's like, are you yeah. serious? Like she has to be, she has to be in the news every day. And then if yeah. you're going to, if you're going to put yourself in the news every day, then you're going to be talked about every day. If you don't yeah, want to be I mean, talked like, about. What Megan wore, what color spray tan Megan wore today for this event? You know, it just goes on and on and on. Right. You know, one, day, one day she looks like a glass of milk. The next day she looks like she's uh, she's been in the tropics for six months. <laughs> Just make up your mind. <laughs> so, well, you know, she she uh, and I have to say this delicately. You know, she does that when when she when she's getting, uh, you know, the media is going after, you know, because sometimes there's negative stories. And then if she's really having trouble, she wheels Doria out. <laughs> oh yeah, and tries to <laughs> and tries to rally the support of people that share a similar demographic as Doria, and it's pathetic. And I don't know how they can't see that. I know it's it's plain as day, but yet when you've got you know a massive amount of other people's money to spend, like it's yours on these PR campaigns, um, it's just you you can just keep putting stories out after stories out and you can bury the internet. I mean, you can put so many stories out to cover up and make it go farther down on the list. So it disappears. You can do that. You can pay Google to take stuff down if you have the money to do it. Right. Oh, it costs money, but yes. Yeah. And Harry's involved. Harry's involved with Google in some way, shape or form. He's like invested yeah. like the 10, per like I, I can't remember what it is, but so you were, you've been recently in the news. No, not me. It, it <laughs> You've <was> been <laughs> recently in the news. Have you had any backlash? Other than being in the news, have you had, you know, the usual Sussex squad, you know, end of life death threats or, you know, like, ha has there been any backlash from that? You know, I'm sure there's quite a few out there. I don't really look at them anymore because they just, they don't bother me. I've already got enough, enough evidence and text messages and same with Samantha. I mean... These people are so disturbed and out of their minds that they, you know, it's like they drank Megan's Kool-Aid and they wear her sneakers waiting for Hailbach to come by or something. It's like. Okay, so so you, okay, so then I have a question. So you wore a wig and then you wore a pillow under your shirt, correct? Oh, did yeah. any Did any journalist reach out to you and say, why did you do that? Like, no. why did you wear, well, then that means they know. Yeah. Of course. That means you I mean, know. it all happened. I mean, I started getting, I, I got a call from uh, Grant Hoxton and he's back grid, which is just like, I mean, they may, they may as well sleep together. They might as well live in the same house together. Um, yeah. Back grid is uh, Grant Hoxton, Carl Larson, but I got, I got a text from him and a phone call that I didn't answer. The next day I got one from Patrick Hill at the, at the Sunday mirror. And then I got one, Say well, saying that they're going to run a story about how my vile, disgusting attack on Megan. Da, 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 do, do I want to add anything? And I so I texted them back and I said, "Yeah, say hi to Megan for me." That was a distraction to overwhelm the system and make it about you instead of talking about well, why did he do that? What's the yeah. pillow about? Yeah, I and can't I believe mean, nobody's asked you about that. Yeah, well, what the, the pillow is a is a joke because it refers to the other thousands of articles and and things online about a surrogate surrogacy, and the baby bump. I mean, Google it. Anybody has the right to Google this stuff, right? If you if I, go ahead. No, if I if if I want to make a joke about it, I will. That's my that's my right, you know. <laughs> but right. I'm not direct. I'm not directly saying that she wore a baby bump. I'm not saying directly saying that she was a surrogate mother or had a surrogate. You're not directly saying she didn't either. <laughs> but that's how, how many people out there, how many programs out there, how many 
how many comedy comedy uh, shows do the same thing? Right. Exactly. Right. And and I don't know if you saw one of my videos where Beyonce was accused online of wearing a, a moon bump or using a surrogacy and, and faking a pregnancy. And that got reported on. But Megan's doesn't. Yeah. Well, here's a good example. Beyonce even came out and addressed the social media rumors. Now, whether she did or she didn't, I don't know, but she addressed them. Megan doesn't. I mean, there's what's with and, and there's nothing wrong with the media. They the media doesn't have to say she wore a moon or she wore a surrogacy, but they can ask the questions. I mean, they're valid questions. And it's, you know, Beyonce's one thing. Beyonce's not in the Beyonce's children aren't in the line of succession. I mean, no. that's a valid question for the British people. Absolutely. I mean, I don't understand why they think, you know, and they're, and they're like, oh, well, everybody wonders about, you know, Kath or Megan. So why can't we know about Catherine? Well, Catherine's not in line in the line of succession. She's not. So leave her alone. Yeah. Those children are. Yeah. Her children. And that's what it, I think that's what it boils down to. You know, look at look at Lady C blew the lid off this two weeks ago, right? Right, and nobody will talk about it. I don't like, and, or ask the questions or make the suggestions. Out statement. I have the proof. Come sue me. I dare you. Plain and simple about about Doria's prison and about the surrogacy. It's it's all in her book, and she's got the proof. So I mean, how you know somebody has to answer this question. Everybody has right, the right. They, Right. And then, you know, it's one thing I hear that they have like some sort of embargo or, or whatever, some sort of something in the British media. Well, what about the American media doesn't have that either? Mm -hmm. Maybe that's maybe they don't want it to spread. Maybe 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 they think that Americans are really stupid and nobody watches the news or I, I really what you said earlier. Nobody cares. But my father has a right to know because that that would be his grandchildren. Right, or, you know, or a quarter of his grandchildren, whatever, however it works out, if there is six parents or not, who knows? But um, King Charles has a right to know. The British people have a right to know because it is a line of succession. Right. I mean, it's like I don't understand why people think it's so crazy to question it, and it's Harry and Meghan created the questions because of their behavior yeah. and the odd-looking shapes that were going on. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So let me stop you there for a second. So this is not just recent. This has been going on for years. There are videos, photographs, uh, assumptions, people pointing fingers like, what is that big fold? They want to know, what is that strap? How come it's, how come that thing's between your knees now? It's like anybody can look it up. And if they want to sell that, like everybody is that stupid. I don't know. It takes a special kind of mind to to do that. And and, and they know. And here's because Megan's mole. Megan's mole is one of the biggest proponents of this. And Megan's mole has her Twitter account has been quoted in newspaper articles about what she's said about Megan. So if they see those that one tweet, they're seeing it all. Like they yeah. just won't. What are they? I just don't get it. And it's not unreasonable to question because of the circumstances of. The line of succession. Yeah, and that's and what it's, I don't what know why any journalist won't look into it. Maybe they can't find out. Maybe they can't exactly find out. I don't know, but you know, I would think that that would be the story of the century, and why <laughs> anybody wouldn't break. You know, if true, allegedly, why yeah. anybody wouldn't want to break that story? That's a huge story to break. Yeah, I mean, so it's 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 see, it, it comes down to money. That is worth so much money allegedly, in my opinion, to Megan, to have those kids in line in succession. But if they're not, it's it's like, oh, wow. Now I'm back to square one being nothing again. Mm -hmm. Allegedly, in my opinion. She's still not. But see, the thing is, is why the fraud to get them in there? If Allegedly, if she did that, you know, it's the year whenever they were born. It's that year. I understand that there's a rule to be. It has to be born of the mother. Well, if she legitimately couldn't have children for whatever reason, you know, maybe rules could be broken. I mean, it's or, or, rules, or changed. Rules you and know, laws could be changed, say, perhaps. Sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead. 
No, I said rules, laws could possibly be bent or changed. I mean, because it's modern times. And, you know, you know, we've heard rumors about why she couldn't carry children. Maybe there was a lot of mileage put on that <laughs> a lot mm -hmm. of traffic. <laughs> That's why. But, you know, I mean, I just don't I mean, honesty is the best policy. You know, and, and you, you said something really interesting as well. Um, had she done this correctly, in my opinion, she'd be sitting on top of the world right now. Right. Had she had she just come out in the beginning saying we can't have children, we're using a surrogate, and she would have been an advocate for sur surrogacy and been held in the highest pedestal. But I, I just don't. Nobody knows why all this happened. It started like you know disrespecting the queen from day one, and then having a having an issue with Catherine, the, the jealousy issues and the rage. It's in so many photographs. And it's like body language says it all. You know, I but just thought of something. So Megan did face a little bit of racism in the press, and that's terrible. But racism is everywhere. So mm -hmm. it's everywhere. And then they said that the British media, maybe they left the UK because of something about the surrogacy or, or the kid. In my opinion, it's a question. Maybe that's why they left. Well, and all of the rest of it's a deflection to a smear the royal family or or something happened there, but maybe yeah. they left because because of that. I saw I saw a, a tweet from Buckingham Palace, and it surfaced again here and there on online. I don't know where I found it from, but I copied it, and it says um, a statement uh, regarding the Sussexes had you know reapologized for any inconvenience the Sussexes have used a surrogate. Right. And I saw that. I, I I don't know. Like, I mean, it could, I don't know if it's there, real or there's not. There's a little, a little anomalies in there that I'm, I I question that, but you know. Mm -hmm. But you know, who knows? I mean, the the big picture here is like, if this is really happening, if this is really happening, and this this actually did transpire, and they both went along with it and created so many problems that. You know, they had to pretty much create their own narrative to run, basically, and get out. Right. Because if, if everybody, especially if the palace knows about this, that would be the biggest news of the century. And they and they covered it up or they're not. It would be the scam of the century. Uh-huh. The jam, the scam jam, right? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna um <laughs> I'm going to bring somebody on in a little while to talk about this jam and to ask it that wants to talk to you about your dad and see how he's doing. But, you know, the royal family, how do you how do you deal with that? I mean, you know, like, I don't think they knew the whole time. And then it's like, what are we supposed to do here? What are yeah. we supposed to do? You know? Yeah, well, you know, something I had somebody on my show a couple weeks ago and we were talking about this and. And uh, basically, you know, one of my videos, I broke it loose and then all hell broke loose on getting hacked and uh, that person being attacked and hacked and credit cards being hacked for my memberships. And it just, it just, I mean, somebody doesn't want somebody to know anything, you know, and then. Um, you know, Harry was, might not have known until after they were married. That if she, if in fact she was barren or there was something going on, I, you know, I doubt she's going to tell him that. Uh, well, see, this this is where I this is where I I have zero respect for Harry right now. I used to I used to stick up well, for I him. Can't. I used I used to feel sorry for him, but from day one, the biggest red flag is like I'm an orphan, and then well, who are these people in the paper? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, oh, yeah. From, from day one, I mean, Harry, I should have just figured this out a long time ago and just ran. I told him to in that letter. But if somebody it, it, like if I were to marry someone and she says, oh, I'm an orphan, I was poor growing up, blah, blah, blah. I was an only child and all I ever wanted was a family. And then all of a sudden, oh who are all these people? Well, well, you have like two families here. What the hell's going on? Right. I mean, right. that's like Harry. When somebody is channeling your mother from the grave and telling you things, dude, you have to run. I'm sorry. Well, when this is the same Harry who keeps a lock of his mother's hair on his nightstand. So, 
<laughs> oh yeah god knows what goes on with that i've seen some movies where they use like like hair and stuff for i don't know whatever i don't know, <laughs> I don't know, I what's know she does brag about lilibet's blue eyes blue blue yeah. blue eyes you know i actually can't stand harry more than i can't stand megan i he i can't stand him i can't yeah. stand him. He, he drives me more insane um i forget i was gonna add, i was gonna say something i forget I forget what it was. What were we just talking about? Um, um, genetically modified children and petri dishes. <laughs> I, I, was, was that one? <laughs> I'm just modern kidding. science? <laughs> yes. We're just talking about modern science here. Yeah, I would like uh, blue hairs and uh, uh, a lot smarter than me. So put some smart genes in there. <laughs> oh my God. I can't. I can't. Mm. I can't, but you know, I, I think that she probably duped him. I think he duped her too. I've prom made these promises of, oh, it's going to be like this. We're going to be like this. We're going to be like this. I also well, think that he, I think <laughs> I'm not trying to make her a victim, but I think he lied to her about what was I actually going to go on. I think, I think there was a lot of that stuff going on on both ends, but in my opinion, but if I found out that my spouse had registered and trademarked all like all those names. Anybody can look it up. Lilibet, Princess Megan, Princess Queen Megan, trademarked all these dot coms and trademarks years before. I would think that there was like, I would probably just move out the next day and leave and not <laughs> yeah. like where I was going. I, mean, <laughs> I know. I just don't get it. I I, I just don't. I, I just don't get it. But. It's, I'm not married to either one of them, so I guess I don't have to get it. Yeah. But it's just, it's just, I, there's just so many, so many, so many different things. So many questions still, and nobody's addressing them. I want to know. My dad wants to know, do I have grandkids or not? It's simple. Do I have a, do I have a niece and nephew? Another one? You know, I mean, I have, I have some from Samantha and uh, my other half brother. Hang on one second. Okay. But I, that's like, it's a, like, who does that? And keeping the, keeping the kids from, from their, their family. I don't, I don't care if they're surrogates. There's nothing wrong with that. Children are children and, you know, they have a life, but someday these kids are going to be big and they're going to be looking on the internet. And they're going to go, what the hell is going on? Who am she, I? So she did that to them. She allows it. Uh-huh. She could have come out and squash it, you know, and she or not done it in the first place. Yeah, she could have put, she could have realized a long time ago that, like, wow, this is going to backfire big time. It's not about her keeping the kids in the line of succession because she <clears> wants <throat> that for them. She wants it for her. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was talking about earlier. Allegedly, in my opinion, that was her, that was her ace in the hole, you could say to yeah. secure you know billions of dollars for the rest of her life she has she had everything i've never seen a colossal somebody just totally blow blow it i know i just you know my biggest problem now is like if you look up markle in the in wikipedia they have a picture of her and says you've been markled that's great <laughs> that's great <laughs> I know. I mean, she's just, she's just, and what she's done to Samantha and everything. Yeah. And with the Sussex, have you had run-ins with the Sussex squad like Samantha has? Oh yeah. No, I've, I've, I've gotten, I copied everything. I, I copy and I, I document that and it's all ready to explode. But um, about like giving my father a lethal injection, be careful. Your father might get a lethal injection. You know, you'll be sorry. Your days are numbered. Uh, we're going to cast you down, you know, it's like all indirect threats, but it's, they're direct threats. I've had suspicious people in my neighborhood. It's just, it's just, I, 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 there's no reason why I should have to look over my shoulder, nor should a disabled woman with MS in a wheelchair have to look over her shoulder and, and fear for her life. Why doesn't you anybody know? report on that? Like, I don't get like, you know, like again, Megan you know, makes herself out to be be the bully. Well, how are you like being bull? How is Tiny Tim? How are all the Tiny Tims in the world bullying somebody who has access to everything? 
Yeah. And the the big question here is why hasn't she put a stop to them? She probably, they probably don't go after journalists because they don't want the journalists to blow, blow the story up. Yeah, well, you know, it already got blown up. Christopher Boozy, the Sussex Squad, Meghan Markle is the queen of the Sussex Squad, been attacking Catherine. They have document. it's documented, you know. And once you make a formal international terrorist threat report, which they, those are, not only is, is it 25 years in prison for doing that, but they find you. And they do. I know this. They find you, they can track you, they can find out exactly where these things came from. Wait, what things? What things? The threats? Online online terrorist threats. That's yeah. like a, that's like a felony times 10 when you cross international borders. How stupid do you have to how stupid are they? To eat? Don't don't send how, a stupid guy. Don't spend send a stupid person to do a smart person's job. Jesus. You know, I mean. Do they actually think that they can't be tracked? When when you submit a formal complaint to the CIA, FBI, NSA, whoever it is, for an international terrorist threat, you're going down. They will find you. And one day they're going to kick your door in and you're going to jail. So I know that. Right. And, you know, I mean, the CIA or FBI and MI6, I'm not saying we're special, but they have to watch our channels. That's their job. Somebody keeps track of our channels or there's a thing there. I don't know how they, they see what everything goes on and what these people do. What are they doing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, the, the, I see, I envision all these guys watching my channel, laughing their asses off. <laughs> on some, well, some because of the, it's, because some it's of the, hilarious. Yeah. The it's videos hilarious. and the characters. I mean, I, I crack myself up sometimes. So, right. And I know well, I, I'm pretty sure that the royal family probably sit around. Come on, Tom's got another video up, guys. Let's go. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. And they're assigned like, so people are watching. And it's not like we all don't show proof and compelling evidence. And, and it doesn't go anywhere. We've been trying to get people's attention forever. And everybody knows. Just like the prime example, the American media knows because Megan Small, they quote her. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, see, AMI is, AMI is huge, right? And that's who who umbrellas most of these little dirt rag magazines. And when you have friends in high places like at AMI, you know, I mean, it's a no brainer. You know, I need this, this, and this put out here, here, and here, and it's done. So. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna bring somebody on real quick that's a big fan of yours, and I think she has a crush on you. Is it Meghan Markle? No, <laughs> <laughs> no Megan, <laughs> Megan has a crush on, on me. Oh god. And then we'll get to another person. So because we're on a time restraint with the one and 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 I think she has a crush okay. and, and I can't not have her on here. So her name, she goes by Queen Queen Gertie. Oh, on um, and then I'll get to the I'll get to the next on um yeah. I've been reposting I've been, I've, been re I've been reposting everything on, on X from you. Know. Oh, so you're That's familiar great. with Queen Gertie. Yeah, I did. Well, yeah, he, well, I'm, he sees I'm, me outside his window with the binoculars. Yeah, I, I'm, new, I'm new, new on X. I still don't have it down. I just, uh, <laughs> but I'm trying. <laughs> I, I'm a stalker, Thomas. You're a stalker? Queen Gertrude, what do you Yeah, I'm stalking you, you Thomas. Okay. <laughs> I'm your number one fan, don't you know? <laughs> uh, I, have, I have to go. <laughs> 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 You know when you Thomas say no, uh, you, you know when you say number one fan. Have you ever seen that movie um, with James Caan and uh, uh, Misery? Uh, oh uh, no, it's a horror. Uh, it's a horror. I've heard of it. I think, yeah. I think I have. Yeah, you watch it. I'm your number one fan. Yeah, okay. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. I so, I know I'm a Misery to the Sussex Squad. <laughs> That's so, the Misery. I know. So Queen Gertrude has been one of my longest first friends on social media when I got on and she's like the greatest person. We went through like all of this stuff and uh, they came after, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's hilarious. So she's a good person. So Queen Gertrude, I know you've got probably got a few questions. Like when, when, when you, when are you guys getting married? 
Well, this is it. So, so me and uh, Blair were talking about this earlier. So I was thinking, wouldn't it be funny if we fell in love and then we got married and then I'd be good Gertie, Gertie Markle. But I would invite all your family to the wedding, of course, all of them. <laughs> Well, you know, I mean, I I, I heard from the and grapevine. And your dad and Samantha. I heard from the grapevine. I, They're all invited. A little birdie told me that Chick Magnet's going to have a new game show who wants to make a royal baby. <laughs> you know, you could be a contestant on that I reckon show. I, I, I could be. But I, I like to win, you see. <laughs> Is that true, Thomas? Is that true? Is that really going to be a game? Would that be that's a that's a great show? Are you kidding me? Of course, I'm going to do that. <laughs> you have is to put out a... notice that we can all watch. <laughs> it, it, it'll, be up it'll be up soon enough. I just, you know, I'm in a transition spot right now because I moved out of another place that had a lot of mold. So it's kind of common here at the beach. So right. waiting for waiting for another place to open up. But so I just took what I can get so I can stay close to dad. So how close? How close is he? Like He's close. Very close, yeah. You see, I haven't been watching them. Um, sorry, but I've been, as, as Blair knows, I've been um, helping a friend move. I've been carrying wardrobes on my back, etc. But how is your dad, Thomas? Is he okay? Yeah, he's um, uh, you know, he goes he goes up and down, but for the most part, he's okay. And oh. I'm just glad that you know I, I've been here for him every single day, keeping his spirits up as much as I can. But you know, he he's getting old and. What he's had to deal with and endure for the last few years is just, I don't wish that on anybody because it just leaves a giant question mark of like, what the fuck I, happened? So. I, I just I just could not imagine doing that to my dad, you know, or, 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 or anyone. It just, it's just incredibly sad and it's just really evil, really, really evil as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's just, uh, it's mind boggling. Over a staged paparazzi thing that Megan literally does all the time. Her life is a staged paparazzi. Yeah. Photo. But she just didn't want him at the wedding. She just, she didn't want him at the wedding. So it was all, you know, in my opinion, and, and loads of everyone else. And that's, that's how she did it. And it's just so, just so, just so cool, you know? Yeah, I mean, all she had was Doria, who was just looking like in the, like like she's in the penalty box at a hockey game, highly medicated, you know, just sitting over there by herself yeah. with that grin on her face. I'm rich. <laughs> yeah, and why didn't Megan allow? Like, I'm sure like the royal family would have allowed Doria to sit with them or or, or whatever. But Megan had to make her like she couldn't have Doria talk to them. Was Doria even invited to the after party or the luncheon? I don't know. I, what, I don't know. I I was in London. I was I was uh, uh going around with a mirror doing street parties in sunglasses and a hat. So <laughs> so I was. But I think. What when you look back, because I, I was a massive fan of Star Wars, I thought it was brilliant. My sister even bought me a plate with the big on it. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say that now. But when you look back at the at the wedding, you notice so much more, don't you? you think, oh my gosh, you know, walking down the aisle. It, 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 she just wanted it, me, 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 me. And I, she probably didn't even want King Charles to walk her. She probably wanted to go all the way herself. No, I think she wanted Charles to walk. Her. Do you? Can she I think she did a half, no, 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 you're, no, you're, right, about, you're right about that because she made a spectacle about it. She goes, "Well, I lost my father." Oh, uh, okay. But good news, Megan. Refound point. Him. Refound him, Megan. Refound him, Megan. He, he's okay. Refound him. So don't worry. Good. <laughs> it's She's... just, it, it's just. Um, I just want to touch again, real quick, on the fact that. It's so unfair what, what she's doing to my father, Samantha, even me, wanting to take my YouTube channel down and, and have everybody in the world complain about it when I'm sitting here taking care of her father, right? I don't, I don't, I don't make shitloads of money. I just barely get by. I live on such little. And I've exhausted so many resources the last couple of years being here, which is okay. But it's but just, you didn't I don't to understand how she can, I don't understand how she can get up in the morning and look at herself knowing what she does to her handicapped sister, her I father. I think she's okay with herself. It's so bizarre. It's mind boggling. And that's her true but nature. But must have been a sociopath. He must be. Who could, who could not feel just an ounce of guilt, which I don't think she does, an ounce of, 
You know that feeling you get when you feel like you've upset someone or done someone wrong, that anxiety. I don't think she feels any of that. I, she must be, as, I think she's a sensitive her. Yeah, and, and let me say one more thing. Nobody has ever asked her for any of her dirty money. I don't want any of Megan's money because it's not hers in the first place, allegedly, in my opinion. It's somebody else's charitable donations, as far as I'm concerned, allegedly. Yeah. But Filthy money. Nobody has ever asked her for anything. That's not the point. The point is, is that how she can treat her dad like that. And then it's just amazing. Look at this sweet man. Seriously, look at him. Yeah. And and then I hear through the grapevine that this is going to come out. Like some other thing has come. She's going to put this in her book about how about how my father abused her and oh, how, and how uh, I abused her. Can you believe this shit that's going to come out? The who? Who? That, do you think she did that? That my father abused her. Yeah, yeah. I think she would I, be I, there. I keep, I keep hearing things. Even Lady C tipped me off six. Eight, oh, Blair. Yeah. So, so, ba so basically, um, um, someone had gone to Lady C and um, basically insinuated that Megan's father. Um, was doing things he shouldn't be to her oh. and wanted to put this in a in a book and she basically said fuck off you yeah. know and um good but, lord <laughs> but, but, but do you know what do you know what you know i it all comes to us all when we you know when we uh meet our meet our maker but the, the minute that happens i i i, I honestly know this is what's going to be said but I think so many of us know that this is this is going to come out. No one's going to believe it anyway. Just yeah. what a, what what just it's it's a she's a monster. She it's actually really a, is just, yeah, a monster. It's just, another, it's just another poor me victim card. You know, let's keep my name in the press. Oh my God! You know, let me say also something. There are so many uh, A list actresses who have a an amazing career for 15, 20 years tops. Right? This is a Hollywood thing. Then. They come forward when they're not popular, not making the money, and they don't get the roles they had before. All of a sudden, they come, you know, 30 years later, 40 years later, oh, he, he abused me, he touched me, he raped me. Of course, you know? yeah. It's, it's parasitical. That, I mean, it's but this is, the, this is the first time in history I've seen a D-list actress do it. So... <laughs> You're being very generous with D list. I know. I don't, I, that's <laughs> yeah. because I, I'm, I don't know my ABCs. That's as far as I could go. So, you know, I have some screenshots, and I hate to bring this up, but I'm not going to say what, what it is. I have screenshots of the Sussex Squad, which they got this information somewhere. I know it's not true, of the most vile accusations that they've made about your dad that you wouldn't believe. Oh, I can believe it. Yeah. I don't know. These are bad. Yeah. It's not true. And they're sort of in the dark corners of the Sussex squad. It's bad. Yeah. And, and it's you so know, unbelievable. Every but, time every time you say sex the Sussex squad, okay, this is all Megan has left of the people who like her. Okay. And a lot of them are dropping out. Yeah, I know they're dropping like flies because they're on the SS, you know, swamp donkey going next to the it's gonna sink next to the Titanic any day. So, mm. um, but it's just, that's, that's her crowd. I mean, she, she pays these people to like and comment on her pages. It's so obvious because all the, they all look the same. I just don't get it. I mean, how can you not put a stop to people attacking your family members online and the Royal family? And because you, and she, you... Has, cause she has to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Like, she she has to because yeah. she's not a bit, she's she has to to continue yeah. the grift and continue the narrative. I mean, she has to keep that going on. Just like they the journalists didn't attack they attacked you instead of questioning why you had a pillow under your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, you know, I'm really upset about GB news, right? Cuz you know, you see the girl, she wanted to crack up crack up laughing several times, which was funny. But the other guy was <laughs> The other guy had said, you know, the, he was like so uptight, like he's good lord. Have you ever had a beer, dude? Chill out. What did he say? What did he say? He was like, just like, oh, vile, disgusting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and but the thing that pisses me off the most is like, you know, because I left a comment on TV News on, on on that on that clip. I said, you guys forgot to tell him to like and subscribe my channel. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> did you get but, did you get any like more like subscribers? Uh a couple thousand. Yeah, I should have oh, got nice. I should have doubled. I was thinking I would have doubled, but I think uh, they they caught on to the fact that I was gaining traction on it. So I did laugh when I saw that Thomas. <laughs> I did have a, I had a massive chuckle. <laughs> and I'm very upset with GB News for not doing the audio on my video. That was the best part. <laughs> they did it? No. I'm just what like leaning, I'm leaning back in this chair, right? Like this, but I've got a fart machine going crazy in the background. <laughs> <laughs> and they left the audio out. That was like that, you know, that hurt what my feelings. I read the article kind of what did they say was vile just overall what you did or the wig or did they address the pillow or what did they say was vile? They were saying that Thomas Markle is basically trolling in a vile, disgusting attack on his sister Meghan Markle, right? First of all, you know, last time I checked, Megan's name is not me game. All right. That's right. like I didn't say this is Meghan Markle and no, I don't do that. It's 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 comedy, it's parody. And read the disclaimer. If you don't like it, watch something else. That's what I tell people all the time. You should do another video with with the same getup on or slightly different and start showing, say you want to see vile. These this is what Megan does and her fans do. Yeah. 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 Well, maybe I'll do the one where I come out in a red coat and the baby bump. Yeah, the purple dress. Feet, right? <laughs> yeah. Make and sure then, the clutch that's <laughs> sticking out there. <laughs> even even Harry in the picture is looking down like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then she does the coat up. Yeah. That's... I don't know why I've got to do the actions, but she does the coat up. I don't, I don't to her and she does the coat up. Basically... I the, the the way I get it, GB News is on the payroll, uh, the Sunday Mirror, uh, the New York Post, uh, some of the Daily Mail, and there was another one. Uh, but they're all, it's just like, they all said the same thing and attacked and attacked me saying the same thing. It's just, is what it is. I just so. don't understand, like, Harry and Meghan don't have any, like, some of the big celebrities can, can you know, wield power and get them to be quiet. Like, M Meghan and Harry are useless. Like they're useless. They're 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 jokes. So what what power do they hold over these people? Well, remember when I was saying like read between the lines about like Harry's visa and him denouncing the UK and now becoming a US citizen? It probably has something to do with his visa. Right? It's not that he just goes, I'm you know, I'm not gonna be part of the UK anymore. I'm gonna be a US citizen. Well, maybe be, it's maybe because Wait. he he did what he did. He can't, he can't. Yeah. You can't undo it. You can't you know? undo it. But I mean, it's like, uh, one, one of the things that cracked me up about the news today is, is somebody in the UK swooped on the, uh, American Riviera orchard, UK, uh, dot com. They, they grabbed that. So <laughs> yeah. now, now <laughs> when, you, when you go to that website, it directs you to a, a, a legitimate charity that actually helps people. So, that was good news. Well, yeah, did you perfect. Hear, did, did you hear that Megan's jam thing up to print King Charles's jam? Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> Megan is like wily coyote and everybody else including the royal family is the roadrunner. Yeah. <laughs> I love those cartoons, yep. <laughs> they're, they're the greatest. She's like wily. Did you, did you see this, I, in one of the pots of jam? She says a, a hair sticking out. Did you see that? Uh -uh. <laughs> like, like what in the hair? Well, the there thing about the hair those... stuck in the jam in one of the, the yeah, places. it's like you know, you says a bit mus muslin over the uh top and it's done up with something, and there's a big black hair sticking out. It's oh, like, god, <laughs> <"This is hell." laughs> Just does, that's fucking hopefully, disgusting. hopefully, it wasn't one of her chest hairs, <laughs> might be one of her pubes. Who knows? <laughs> But the thing about the, the thing about the jam is it, it's it's there's no there's the labels are coming off. There's no ingredients. There's no you're not cleared by the FDA. Apparently, I don't know. Maybe that's another issue. But seriously, 50 my, jars, 50 jars. That's it. 50 jars. You know she bought that jam. She didn't make that jam. Like, give me a break. Yeah. I mean, oh, come yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. If anybody thinks that she said there's or however you make jam, I mean, they're crazy.
See, now the real way to pr promote that is to take video of you actually out there getting your ass out in the field and picking strawberries, right? And collecting them and making them and processing them and pouring them into jars. Showing the process. Yeah. With your face in the video. This is my jam. I made this. It's special. 50 jars only. She then you have something. She doesn't want to have to show the illegals. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't want to have to show that part, you know, all out there with like in the heat and like, like that. She doesn't want to have to show who's really picking the it, it, It's more likely that they're peeling off some other label, <laughs> scrubbing it off. Why, have, have you guys <laughs> ever put hers on? You guys obviously know what the 99 cent store is, right? Sometimes they have like lost leaders and stuff that other companies can't sell. You know, and I've seen I've seen some nice products in there for a dollar, you know, and all you got to do is take them home, soak them in water, peel the label and put yours on. Yeah. I don't know. I'm surprised, you know, I'm surprised like she hasn't come out with because the labels were peeling. Say, well, Archie put them on. That was little Archie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She had made fun of the labels coming on. Little Archie did it. Archie ran out of glue sticks. <laughs> but it, it's oh, just like picking on a child a little archie put the label but it's like every everything she does it's slap dash and sloppy you know Spend i heard, some I, heard time. That, uh, Spend I heard some time doing things i heard martha stewart is going to open up a can of whoop ass on her and uh started is possibly going to sue her for copying her i wouldn't mess with martha martha stewart not in a second you know, because Martha, I mean, there's an article out there about Martha Stewart just saying, you know, oh, yeah, I would, would it say it's that uh, uh, she calls she calls her irritating and insulting. So. <laughs> Did she? She yeah. said that. Yeah. Martha Stewart. Well, you know what that means? Martha Stewart is a racist, middle aged, late aged white woman. That middle aged white woman. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's going to be. She's that's... mad that Harry didn't marry her. That's that why she's saying it. I mean, come on. Yeah, that'll be coming out all over the press next tomorrow. And this is the book. This is what the Martha Stewart is a late aged white woman that's jealous. Yeah. <laughs> made him so smart, and Harry didn't marry her. <laughs> oh, I, we're all desperately sad Harry didn't pick us, aren't we? Oh, my God. Broken hearted. <laughs> and they'll, they, I, you know, to, it's one thing to say it to the British women. But, like, I'm an American. Why would I ever have grown up with the dream to marry Prince William or Harry? I, I'm an American. Like, how would that happen? <laughs> like, I mean, why would I, you know, like, I like, like, the new kids on the block and, like, Justin Timberlake and people like that. Like, why why would I want Harry? And if I would want anybody, I mean, the obvious choice is Prince William. I mean, because he's going to be king and Harry's a loser. <laughs> yeah. He, he doesn't have, he gives me the, uh, the ick. So it's, it's him, but I tell you what, it's him. So it's Harry, scabies. Honestly, he makes my teeth itch. I just, I, I, I need to like pour bleach over myself. I thought his and, name um, was, I thought his name was Scooby. Not Scooby. Well, I call him scabies. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you who else, who else makes me go, is um, that Miss Anne Harris, Harrison with a, I bet he's got a cold, like sweaty, like limp handshake. They're just like, they're all, they're all the same, aren't they? Just like grim, gross, and sniveling arse lickers. It's just so off-putting. It's off-putting, I think, for any female. To... <laughs> so speaking of limp, so speaking of limp handshakes. Okay. Yeah. Y'all yes, not. Thomas, what do you think about Harry? I don't know if you've paid attention, but I've talked about Oh, we've not, Joe. Harry uh... is not Joe's love affair. It's Are weird. You, I say it again. And their homoeroticism. Oh, the the, <laughs> the picture that uh, probably uh, somebody got a really good picture. Now I don't know about you, but like the body language on that, they're definitely fucking. So. Uh, <laughs> they have been for allegedly, allegedly in my opinion. <laughs> They've been at it for years. Well, I did hear he likes a good old spit most, but you know who knows. <laughs> So the next the next narrative that's going to be everywhere is like, oh, Harry and I have always had an open relationship. <laughs> well, what was strange? I don't know if you saw either. So we got Harry and Nacho, okay, and then Megan and and Nacho's wife were holding hands. Like, what's going on? Yeah, maybe, no. they have, maybe they have a, 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 a switcheroo. 
but but the picture of that of who I, who was that nacho or the guy's wife or something but megan had her hands on the guy's chest and he had her he had his arms around her waist did you see that you guys saw that one switch your booze. <laughs> uh, not, uh, i i don't know i saw a bunch i probably saw it no i mean it was a long distance shot it was definitely a long lens um straight across the field and they're like gazing into each other's eyes i mean i posted some jokes about it on instagram and put my own captions in there of course but, <laughs> but oh, it's, it's all that. I... it's all very very oh, yeah it's sestious isn't it <laughs> i don't know break offs that's that's Just, what they have on off. i i think i think you know i think i'm so glad that everything has is gotten to this point you know, it's, it's given me and my family redemption. It's given the world an eye-opening experience. It's like, oh God, you know, but it's 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 coming to an end finally, I, I do believe. I mean, the cats are out of the bags. Everything's gonna be disclosed sooner or later. You know, it's gotta happen. I mean, everybody keeps saying 2024 is the karma year. So yeah. welcome to karma. It, it's coming because it's done come across i think most normal people should come across as a nice likable genuine person you know and i think we, the more we see of her or the more we, people read of her think, oh, no she's not she's not nice she's not a good person yeah so and and i think they're just they're just going to overdo it they overcook themselves and people will be so fucked off with them they'll just stop clicking and once they stop clicking that's it. Over. Bye. Well, no. If when they stop clicking, she'll have to up the pay for the Sussex Squad because they don't they don't get paid that much, you know. <laughs> Did she crack six hundred thousand yet on her Instagram? I don't know. I don't know. I I know knows that so many people started fake accounts, and I love that. <laughs> it's I like a long list, but she, she got reprimanded for that from Instagram, you know, because overnight you get a half a million. Give me a break. <laughs> yeah, she well, she got half a million followers, but other in Instagram users were were creating fake accounts. So just to, like, I think just to piss it off. Yeah. So now, when you when you when you search it on Instagram, there's just the lists of the same the same company names. And I yeah. really do people people just done that because they just dislike her and just want to piss her off. <laughs> all, all the accounts with like zero posts, zero following, one follower. Okay. okay. <laughs> delete, yeah. delete, delete, delete. Like she just puts out something and then she abandons it. She can't follow through with anything. Yeah. You know, I mean, she has little Archie in a sweatshop, you know, <laughs> doing these, doing these, and the illegals, and the illegals out there, <laughs> the, the shop carries, you know, or the illegals at least going to the dollar store to pick up the, the jam. And Archie, put stop eating the strawberries. <laughs> Stop eating the strawberries. That's for jam number 42. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to go like the label. Probably. They probably did it together. Maybe Harry did that. Maybe Harry did some uh, licking on to put it on. I don't know. <laughs> Good I'm boy. Gonna, I'm a, Good I, boy. If I, if I had to make an educated guess on, on ARO, I'm going to say that, you know how people open up businesses to make them flop for tax write-offs? Yeah, yeah. They pay. Uh, that's my that's my personal opinion on that, and I'm sticking to it, allegedly, in my opinion. <laughs> just just another just another way to hide millions of other people's money. Oh, it just makes you sick, doesn't it? I just yeah. I don't know. Do you? Think I mean, that like if they if they actually probably went to the address, which they did on the other one, and there was nothing there, the, those two friends. What the French like, media two? did, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, the French yeah. media. Yeah, and it, and it was just like one person there. Everything was bad. Yeah. Trace uh, back to a lawyer's office in Beverly Hills. Everything's just such a con. It's just oh. But anyway, they're grifters. Yeah. Fucking they're grifters. grifters. That's what they are. They're grifters. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna really try and get uh in the next in the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna try and get. Uh, I'll probably just record a little a little interview with my dad just because he doesn't you know he's. He doesn't like to be on the spotlight. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't feel that comfortable. A lot of people care yeah. about him and wonder about him. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. we do. A well, lot he's, of he's, do. he's doing very well. He's he's okay. Like I said, he, you know, he's getting old. You know, I'm getting old. He's getting old. But but considering what he's been like through. 20, what are you, 29? Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thomas, how old are you, Thomas? Uh, I'll be 58 this year. Who are you mean? You look good. You look good. Yeah. Yeah, you I saw a comment that like uh, somebody said when I was wearing that wig, they said like, is he wearing teeth too? It's like, no. <laughs> These are my That's natural for teeth. Next time. Yeah. That's for next time. <laughs> oh, if, you're I can find, if I can find those swamp donkey hee-haw teeth, next time I will. <laughs> so, so Lady C at the beginning of her video today had a song called Ride Me Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> when I heard it, I'm like, oh my God. I mean, she's like. <laughs> written, written and composed by Nacho. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't take that. Right, um, Blair Thomas, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, uh, gel okay. on. Okay. My, well, uh, now, yeah, that, now that I know who you are, I'm gonna stalk you online. Uh, well, I, I hope you do. <laughs> I'd be disappointed if you didn't, Thomas. You're on uh, Twitter, right, X? I am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I keep. I uh, think Gertrude's the best. Yeah, and and the Mad Duchess. That's one I keep reposting. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, I have a was... sneaky Twitter account. Mm. What's that? No, I said I it was nice. It was nice to meet. You. It was nice to meet you, and you know. So, yeah, very. But, uh, yeah, thanks, Thomas. Um, um, please send your dad, um, you know, well, mine and everyone's best wishes because we do, you know. Yeah, I, I definitely want to try and get Dad out. He wants to go. He wants to go to the UK because Lady C invited us to stay at her house a couple times, and she says the doors open all the time. If you guys want to come, just stay here with us. Or I have a spare room, Thomas. You're more than welcome, my darling. <laughs> misery, misery, yeah, misery. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna Google that when I get off. <laughs> yeah, with uh, what's her name, Bateman? Uh, Bateman, what's her name? Uh, it's James Con and uh, oh, I can't remember her first name, but. Great movie, great movie. I'll, I'll, I'll Google it. I've heard of it, but I will send you a message. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, bye, well, bye, guys. See you right, right, sure. for coming on. Um, I'll, I'll give you a message uh, later on. Okay. Oh. All right. Yeah. So, okay. bye, everyone. Yeah. Watch bye. it wherever, okay. wherever you are around the world. Bye. 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 Okay. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. She's the she's if I, the greatest. If I could get off. Watch, can, watch her watch her leave watch her leave her camera on by accident. I know. I know. Yeah. That would be hysterical to see what she'd be doing after talking to you. Oh God. <laughs> I have a I have a spare bedroom. I have a spare bedroom, Thomas. Do you like to be hobbled? <laughs> Ride him donkey. Yeah. <laughs> Ride my donkey, but it was something like that. Like, I, and you know that's because of what you said. Yeah, and I didn't say anything. I don't say stuff like that. <laughs> well, no. no, the crotch, crotch donkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's vile and disgusting. Well, you know. Oh my god. If it bothers you that much, turn the channel, right? Right. Seriously. I mean, like. Why is everybody, you know, everybody in the world's allowed to say what they want, except us. Like, we're the most picked on community of people in the entire world. And a lot of celebrities, they don't go after YouTubers and they have, like, better things to do. Exactly. You know, and I, mean, I think, I think it's Fritz because, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. You go. I think it's because nobody trusts the mainstream media anymore. And so people really go to their news to get their news off of social media. Because we're not biased, we're not. We don't have an angle. We're not corporate owned. We don't have an agenda yeah. or things like that, and we just report things. That's why. Yeah, they don't like it. Uh, and you know, if if social media and YouTube bothers you, then just don't watch it. It's plain and simple. You know, if I turn on if I turn on the television and I didn't like that show, I, I would watch something else. Right. It's, you know, I mean, that's part of the deal. And Megan knew that. I mean, she stalked Diana, and it's what she wanted. She wants attention. She doesn't mind the negative attention. She wants to stop the the pillow talk, if you will. <laughs> but, you know, as far as the channels that just talk about her, even negatively, she kind of leaves them alone. It's 
ones that are asking the questions that she doesn't like that she she has things to hide yeah you know any anything that's going to put out what she doesn't want out there she's going to going to attack you know I, I was talking to trevor cole the other day he's in here by the way where he's in the comments section he's watching something oh hey what's up trevor uh, but we had a talk and, and he had such a hard time with all this. And he says, this is how it starts. You know, they, they put you out, they complain about you that repeatedly. And then, you know, but I think, I think this falls under a whole different category. This is like free, freedom of speech disclaimer. You know, I'm not, you know, it's like, you're going to have to go after SNL, South Park, Chris Rock. I mean, all these, a family guy, all these other people who do the same exact thing, especially but South Park. Especially South Park when the, the best part, when, you know, the South Park character, Harry lifts Megan's head open and looks inside there and there's nothing. Right. It's, it's like spot it's on. Accurate. It's, it's indirect, accurate. indirect humor, you know? <laughs> so. You know, and I, my whole thing at the end of the day is about freedom of speech because I started off with them trying to silence us when I first got started was that Twitter report stuff. And then, I, you know, sometimes I feel like, or I'm like, uh, uh, you know, cause it's, you know, it's it's just constant. Like I have to wake up and see a, th a threat assessment every morning or a threat yeah. assessment every day. But then at the same time, because I it is about freedom of speech for me. You know, my grandparents, my whole family, starting since the Revolutionary War, has fought for this country. I can take you know, taken taken fire and fighting the Imperial Japanese and Hitler and everybody. I can take I can take some jabs on the internet. Yeah. To 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 do my part to defend freedom of speech. Yeah, but that's your God-given right. It's, right. it's everybody's right. We have, to, we have to defend it. I mean, we it constantly needs defended, though. And Harry and Megan yeah. are a lot of the problem with it. They're behind a lot of the problem. What, what, what's that company in Colorado that, the, that they, there's a company in Colorado that's all basically about trying to take freedom of speech away? What's the name of the place? The Aspen, the Aspen yeah. Institute. Yeah, there you go. It's it's the writing on the wall. They want to destroy everything online and control the narrative and and shut down everybody who has something to say. That's what Harry and Meghan really are up to. Like they do a lot of the puff pieces are to deflect from their trying to take away freedom of speech. It's like look over here and we're doing this stuff. Harry and Meghan are very dangerous. And the thing why they're dangerous, like I try and talk to people, like outside of our you know, our scene. I try and talk to people about the freedom of speech and, and how evil and rotten they are and the people that they're involved with and everything. And when I talk to them in about five minutes, their eyes gloss over because they just don't believe it or they don't think that they're capable of it or they're not interested in what they're doing. Not that they don't believe me. It's just they're like, yeah, right. They're jokes. Like, no, they're dangerous. Yeah. Well, another example of that is, is I'm going to, I'm not going to go out on a limb here because it's just it's current news. It's all over the place, but it's trying to be silenced. The reason why somebody would seize all of Diddy's computers and records like that is to keep quiet who's on them. Absolutely. 100%. It's, it's, it's not about just Diddy, right? It's not about him. He hosted some parties and make it about him. whatever he was involved with, he was involved with, but we'll see what happens. But when they go take all your stuff, it's, bigger power at work it's more money at work and they want to keep that quiet but it keeps coming out and uh they keep naming names and naming names uh the royal royal news i think they just did a video straight out prince harry british royalty <laughs> at diddy's parties i it's like it's gonna come out but it'll be 10 years from now when everybody figures right. it out because lawyers will drag it out that far so everybody forgets about it you know, it's right, and, and it'll make it just like with J. Jeffrey E. You know, he uh -huh. they made him, and then he he didn't unalive himself. He didn't unalive himself, but you know, and then uh, Ghislaine had to t take the fall, and and she got convicted of you know trafficking. Well, who'd she traffic to? <laughs> it's, yeah. like, it's like they never said who she. Tra it would be like being convicted of 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 killing somebody with no body and no person like exactly. how is she convicted of trafficking when she didn't they didn't ever say who she 
traffic. Well, Lord knows we're waiting for those records to it's surface. It's so corrupt. You know, when, I mean, They're Maxwell's never going probably, to. I know, Maxwell probably saying to reduce her sentence or whatever, she probably gave up everybody. And I, I, would, I would love to see who's on that list. Only really interested in one person, but I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Uh, right, right. Well, I did a yeah. video about that, but I didn't yeah. release it yet. I mean, it's done, but yeah. hang on. But so just... one more person. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. No, I'm good. One more person wants to come on and say hi to you, if that's okay. Is it Harry? No. <laughs> okay. No, I wouldn't do that to you. Hang on. Are you fam Are you familiar with Sue Smith's channel? Yeah. She wanted to Hi. say hello to you. Hi. Hi, guys. How are you? Hello. I'm doing fine. How are you? No, freak. I'm hanging in there. I'm, I'm all right. Good. So I've been listening. I, I'm, I'm doing you. much better right now because somebody said that I only look 29. So you actually look yeah, 20. 20. <laughs> See? <laughs> really young. So I've been sitting here watching this whole live from the vaccines, I mean, from the back scene, not from the back scene. And a um, couple things that you said, I put a little notes aside. You know how you were talking about Google? When Harry gave his speech for Santa Bali in Florida, a Google.com representative was on the stage with him. Yeah. Oh, really? It's in the article. Yeah. It's right there in black so that and white. Would, that would be the connection to YouTube, but not really in a sense because YouTube only uses Google for ads and AdSense and stuff like true. that. Well, that's true too, but I'm just saying, you know, but, Google... YouTube is owned by Google. Google is owned by ABC and Harry or CBS, you know, whatever that thing is, Alphabet. And um, Harry is friends with the guy who owns that. So, yeah, they're all together. Um, yeah, friends, friends in high places, you know. It's, exactly. It's, you know, um, it's, the, the jam and the honey have both sold out at King Charles's farm. Excellent. Both sold out, and um, he probably didn't have illegals picking all of this stuff. No, he didn't. And I'll tell you something else. Um, very interesting for those of you who may not know. First of all, you'll have to see my video tomorrow. They actually found like hair, some of Megan's hair, <laughs> the top of one of the jars, and the lady. Is it real off. hair or the wig? I don't know if it's real or not, but it's a hair. <laughs> it's it's there. Well, you can clearly see it in the picture. It's no joke. She's balding. I'm sure right, most of us are at this age. Most of us are. Yeah, she, is, yeah. she is in her late fifties. No, I, I am about to turn sixty. But um, the other thing that I found interesting is: Do you know that if you're going to cook things in your kitchen for sale, or you know any of this, they're supposed to somebody from Santa Barbara is supposed to come in and look at your kitchen to make sure that it meets cleanliness and all of this stuff. And you're supposed to wear a hairnet and a jacket and guarantee you that nobody has in, looked at her kitchen she didn't wear a hairnet obviously that's and because that's because they would have found the trap door in the floor where the kids or are. it was little you archie's know. it's little it's archie's hair when he was putting <laughs> the labels on. that's true too that's true too now it's thomas what you were saying fault. about the keyboard warriors getting caught you are absolutely right because what people haven't figured out yet is that using a v each vpn carrier and i said this the other day each VPN carrier has its own signature. So all you have to do, which is what's going on with Trevor Colt right now and the police, the uh, Twitter has given access to the police for the troll yep. accounts that are bothering him. Twitter will hand over those IP addresses. They will know which VPN carrier, and then they'll get a search warrant. And the VPN carrier will hand over the original IP address. There yeah. is no real anonymity online. People and there is, no, there is no erasing that footprint either. Which exactly. Is better. Exactly. So, people should know that. Yeah. Two dumb people should actually they really know that. They've been protected so <laughs> long. Yes. Now, the other thing was everybody's going, oh my God. Oh my God. Harry gave up his citizenship. No, he didn't. He gave up his UK residency, not his citizenship. He's yeah. still a UK citizen. And all he has to do to establish residency is go to the UK and buy a house. He's done. It's not that big of a deal, but I think it has something to do with the whole visa. Yeah, me too. I think it could work. It's too late. Well, I think when DHS said, listen, we need a two week extension because we can't find it, I think they couldn't find it because there wasn't one. I think they filled one out on the quick. I think they had Harry fill out whatever um, yep. and hand it over. And everybody's screaming. 
you know, Trump was in office when he came over and it was Trump. I'm like, he came over right before the borders closed during COVID. And that's why I think that he may have, and they, well, I'm not going to give them any. I don't think he fills anything out. I think well, because of COVID, they might have just let them in on a plane. And since he was married to her, they just let him in and he might not. So, have this, so does this mean, so does this mean like later after the divorce and he has a nervous mental breakdown, he's going to get social security disability insurance? He is paying time. Let me, let me explain <laughs> something to you guys. This is the truth. You know, for those of you who don't know by now, I'm not married to an American. And we went through this. He could be in the United States with me, but he had to have a green card in order to work. You have to have a visa to work. Yeah. He came in, and I don't know how long it was after they came in that he started working, but I think he came in. I think he didn't bother with a visa. He, he had a diplomatic thing. He was always coming and going in and out of the United States for the Warrior Games and for other things. I think he didn't give two thoughts about it. And I think now that this is coming out, suddenly Biden's administration went, oh my God, we don't have a visa for him. And they had something filled. I would, if I was the judge, I would not have given them those two weeks. I would have said, I'm sorry, you knew this was coming. Either you have a visa or you don't. Hand yeah. it over or not. I think they made a mistake. I think the judge made a mistake by giving them those two weeks. Yeah, I have a, 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 a good friend of mine who's right. a photographer. Um, that's, I know exactly what you're saying because he's, he's, he's from the UK and, and he's, he's gotten to the, he's reached the end of his work visa. So he's very, very leery about going anywhere or doing anything until right. he goes back and renews it in the UK. We and, renew it. We renew my husband's work visa every 10 years. Yeah. And we only have one more year to renew because then he'll be retirement age and then we're finished. But, yeah. um, what a pain. And it is a pain if you're a normal person and you don't have friends. Listen, when that when the you when the American person came forward and said, listen, long as Biden's in the office, they're not going to deport Harry. That was like the, the dumbest thing he could have said. How stupid. And then defending him, him, like, huh? And then then the like defending Harry in court, like the, the, DHS, news, the it'll American, say Biden, it'll say Biden's lawyers are defending Harry. Like that's the kind of American attache, the American ambassador in the UK said on the record, long as Biden's in the office, Harry will not be deported no matter what they won't deport him. So that just shows that Harry's getting preferential treatment. Right. Yeah. That's why, that's why Trump said the next day, as soon as I'm in office, I'm going to deport him. Well, he said <laughs> he's going to release the visa. Yeah. So, I mean, there's only two options. Either he checked the box and said, I don't use drugs, at which time he lied, or he checked the box and said, yes, I use the drugs, but I got a waiver. The question is, <clears throat> who gave him the waiver? So how does that work when you lie on a document like that? Isn't that a crime? That is a crime yeah. if you lie on the document. And um, it's grounds for instant deportation. Trust me, so, I, I yeah. on this road with my husband. It's a mess. Earlier, we were talking about like Megan's circle mm -hmm. of, of people working for her, getting bribed or paid or greased or whatever the hell they're doing to them to, to get these things pushed through and brushed away like nothing ever happened. It brings me back to um, Tom Bauer's book and Jeff Rayner putting a restraining order on my father for what he said in Tom Bauer's book because my dad got screwed over so bad by Coleman Rayner and Jeff Rayner with the paparazzi photos, right? That my dad sued them. And then he, of course he had a stroke, so it fell apart and I couldn't save it in time, but it brings me back to that pissed them off because my dad said in Tom Bauer's book, if I ever became term terminally ill with cancer, I would kill him, right? Coin a phrase, right? So a year after the book was even out, these guys get pissed because I continue the court case to try and save it for my father. And what do they do? They, they put a restraining order against my father and it's, we didn't even get served. We didn't even get a notice. We found what out a court date. We got, we got, we, we found out from, from the tabloid saying that my dad had a restraining order. Isn't that the same guy okay. that when your dad had a stroke, tried to get access to your house? No, that was, that was, um, that was, uh, what's his name? Uh, Carl Larson. Carl Larson. Okay. Real, right. real, real work of shit in, in my opinion. He's so smarmy. So, so Jeff Rayner, right, to push this restraining order through, 
he wrote on the court document that my dad would use a gun. And that, and Wait, his lawyer too, and his lawyer too. He said that my father would use a gun because my dad is old. And you put that on a court document. That's you a felony. I, I think, think Thomas, you and I have met once before, I think on a live somewhere. And I remember looking at you then and saying, please promise me when your dad passes away that you don't let Megan show up to funeral. <laughs> and you no. promised me, you promised me you wouldn't allow it because let me no. tell you something. She, she this, won't even know. This takes me back to when Prince Philip died <laughs> and she didn't show up, but she sent a wreath and then she made sure everybody knew what was in the wreath, who made the wreath, that there was a calligraphy card. She, she couldn't just let Prince Philip die in peace and have a peaceful funeral. She tried to take the attention and bless your poor dad when yeah. he does pass without ever meeting his grandchildren. She's going to try to spin it. Oh, my dad, I wish we could have fixed things. But, you know, yeah, I, know. I, mean, I can see it happening. I just got a call from Santa Barbara and they said, like, you know, the makeup and cosmetic place up there ran out of all those fake teardrops that you put in your eyes. So she must be getting ready for something. I don't know. <laughs> well, here's what I think is going to happen. She's going to be like, daddy, 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 you know, after, and then she'll offer to pay for the most extravagant funeral. I mean, it'll be an right. empty, like, and she'll say, I want to throw my dad and my brother and sister, all of a sudden you'll be brother and sister again. My brother oh, and yeah. sister won't let me come to the funeral and I wanted to plan a nice funeral and they won't let me. That's what's oh, going yeah. happen. Yeah. The writing's on the wall. Well, she won't even know. So, you know, this is just like the way dad's not, dad's not going to die anytime soon. You Thank know? God. I'm, I'm looking when, after him pretty well. So. When Harry said on the Netflix series, she lost her father. I thought she didn't lose her father. Her father's alive and well. She's blocked her father. There's a completely different from saying my poor father's. I mean, you're talking to somebody who's lost her dad. What yeah. I wouldn't give, what I wouldn't give. To, for I think another day with my dad, it. and she is just blowing it, and she's gonna regret it now. No, she's not blowing it. She blew it. Or she blew it. The other two things I wanted to talk to you about. One of them is the wedding. I honestly believe that the reason that she, like your uncle, the one who got her the internship for six weeks that your dad paid for, the reason yep. that she, that Megan did not invite your family to that wedding was because you know at the reception afterwards people talk. Exactly. And somebody might have spilled the beans and it all would have come spilling out all the lies that Megan told the royal family. That's why none of the family, not even, not just the white side of the family, the black, the Markles, the, the black side, the Doria side of the family it, was also. It's like Jessica Mulroney, like she didn't want, you know, she, the whole room she's lied to. And she, she lied to everybody and, and she's a user, but that's why the, your, your family and the other side of the family wasn't there. That's it's, just ama it's just amazing how the royal family went away, went, went with it. It's just mind boggling. I think the royal family now realizes what is going on. And so, yeah, they dropped the penny a little I late. Think that, I think that with all the advisors they had and PR people, I mean, they still were like, what, what the fuck do we do with this? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, our, you know, Harry is in love with this girl. She's completely, you know, awful and then we have the what are we supposed to do here i mean what even funny. like i said even with all the advisors in the whole world it's like, what the fuck do you do and the same she's thing with the speculative uh, they're like uh, they're like they're that, like that she's his mother incarnate i mean when he did that me you can't see and he goes they're not gonna stop until she's dead my mother died because she was dating somebody who wasn't white and they didn't uh, stop and now look what they're i thought oh my god he's so Freaking brainwashed. This meanwhile this guy is off the rails. She died because meanwhile, she was not the the Caucasian. We just have to understand where they live. Huh? Egyptians are Caucasian. They just exactly. have darker but, skin because of where they live. But Diana died because she was in a speeding car without a seatbelt with a drunk driver, not because of the color of her boyfriend's skin. She, Megan, literally. You know, they're always on private jets because she has convinced Harry that for their safety and the safety of those children, they can't be on a regular plane. That's why they're always on the on the private jets. I, I mean, yeah, it's like uh, it's like uh, MI6. OK, yeah. Release the chicken in the turbine jet. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs>
<laughs> now the other the other thing you guys touched on was the kids. Let me tell you something. You have two children that are growing up. They have nothing to do with the royal family. If I saw them, I wouldn't call them Prince Lily or you know Prince Archie. Or, I'd be like Archie, Lily. Yeah. I wouldn't use their titles. They don't have HRH. So that's going to make them outcasts. Meaningless. Cool. They're meaningless. Because the kids don't have the HRH. And I think what's going to happen, and you guys mark this down for future reference. I think when William becomes king, I think he's going to say, I'm giving my brother what he's always wanted. He wanted out of the royal family. He's given up his UK residency. I'm removing him as counselor of state. I am removing the children's titles. They are now... Um, Lily and Archie Mountbatten Windsor again. They are no longer the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They are they are simply Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Mountbatten Windsor. We wish you nothing but the best, and we're giving you exactly what you wanted, your freedom. They're Bye -bye. just regular but average I, I, Americans, I can say, I, just I can, like the I can rest see, of us. I can say, William, after that statement, saying, don't let the door hit you in the ass. Yeah, don't let it hit you. So. Don't, let the good, don't let the door hit you where the good Lord splits you. I mean, it, what he what they did to Catherine. Okay, first of all, you messed with the intense, amazing love of his life. Yeah, there. I don't. I don't think I've seen a couple that have been more in love in my life. I mean, my God, their relationship was flawless, and they had the audacity and the balls to go after his wife. Not smart. Not if only I that, but one like one of the most popular, well loved, recognizable figures. women in the world. Like how stupid. If I see one more article about they're still giving them an olive branch, there's going to be an olive branch. Yeah. Be, there isn't going to be an olive branch. They will never come back together. It will never happen. Harry tried to come back when the cancer news came out and the king, he was with the king for a whole 14 minutes and the yeah. king basically told him, you're done. You yeah. want out? You're out. Bye-bye. Yeah, they'll give him an olive branch with a hornet's nest on the end of it. Exactly. They're never coming back because the only way they're going to come back is if Harry apologizes publicly for everything that he said and everything that he's done. He, you know, Harry, who's always Harry sat there during that interview with Tom Bradley when he was talking about the spare. Yeah. And they said to him, um, Harry said, you know, when you use the uh, the media to the detriment of my family that's where i draw the line and i thought and you don't use the media to the detriment of your brother and his wife and your and your children you told you told the world that your brother married his wife because she was good breeding stock not because he loved her you criticized their parenting you 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 said horrible things about King Charles's wife, a person that you said earlier you liked. Yeah. I'm like done. These people have to be the dumbest people on the they pick on all the wrong people and well liked people. I mean, like like going after Catherine, way to go. What going after Millet, Millet's earned her stripes now. Everybody likes her. And exactly. They, uh, <laughs> what Thomas yeah. Markle said was exactly spot on. If they had come to the United States, kept their head down, kept their mouth shut, and actually did some philanthropic work, they would be two of the most, they would be, they would have eclipsed the royal family and been the most popular yeah. couple in the world. They did everything wrong. You said it right, Thomas. You know, you know, I, I, I kind of, um, I kind of hope to find out that like people, have some sort of a sense of humor and not, not, are not so serious all the time. So I was really hoping like Charles, right? Mm -hmm. Which is like, wouldn't it be amazing like if he made my father a sir or, or knighted him or something, just. He kind of just... wanted to with the press, but Megan took that away from them. Oh yeah, of course. You know, Megan, Megan denied help from my father twice and denied uh my father's presence at a couple of functions in the uk that that the family invited him to and what? she said no she said no yeah what functions they, were what functions were i think I, I don't quote me 100 percent on this but i think it was the coronation um and something else um the jubilee the queen's jubilee because ladies ladies he even know because i mean i i talked to lady c a couple weeks ago but I, i've talked to her several times before in the past and 
And, you know, he, he was actually invited and Megan said no. Well, I would think if they gave the invitation to your dad directly that they could tell, you know, Megan to go get stuffed. Yeah. I'm sure they all do behind closed doors anyway, but <laughs> several times a day. <laughs> you know, notice they don't they don't go after Prince William as much as they go after Catherine. Like he's tough. He can take it. He's a man. Why don't they go after him? Because they know what's gonna happen. They know what's so coming. Going after his wife isn't gonna help their case. It's no. not it's not <laughs> Harry doing that. That's Megan. Yeah, and that's something that he will never forget or forgive ever you 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 screwed up so bad that as soon as he's king you're number one on the list mm -hmm. number one on the list but. I, I, I don't wish I, any harm to ill will to king charles but i'm looking forward to king william <laughs> i'm yeah. hopeful you know i'm hoping that charles sticks around maybe another 10 years you know he's what 75 yeah 85 it's good 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 long life and and then william will take over which is good because by then george will be in his 20s charlotte yeah. will be you know 18 it's you know that way the little kids can grow up normal you know with with a normal life uh, I just, go, huh? go ahead sue. go ahead sue no i was just gonna say i think it's so sad that harry and megan keep their kids so sheltered and i think they think that People are like, oh, I can't wait to see the kids. I can't wait to see the kids. And the truth is, yeah. I could care less if I ever see those kids because even the pictures they put out, one day they're redhead, next day they're blonde, yeah. next day they're brunette. They put out a picture of Archie, and then supposedly they put out a picture of Archie six months later, and he hasn't grown an inch. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's fun and games. And, that's, and because, I, that's because they, they they might keep him in a cage like they, like they raised baby veal. You know, Except to bring him out to put the jar and put the labels on the jar in his yeah. hair. Archie, uh, six more labels are ready for you. Come on. Um, <laughs> I feel I'm bad for the kids. I do. Oh, so I Thomas, I, I'm sure you saw Sue, but Thomas, I don't know if you saw. So when Catherine was sick and they were all speculating that she was not alive anymore or so sick, the, the sickos of the Sissick squad, you know, you know the picture, the one that was on uh Instagram or Twitter, the one that started everything, they superimposed Megan's face on Catherine's with the kids, with George oh, Lewis. Some of, I the mean, pictures, some of the pictures that they put out are so like, oh my God. And then the one about like, Megan, you need to vacate the, the palace immediately. You're trespassing. Or no, uh, William and Kate, you're trespassing. Vacate the palace immediately. They don't live in the palace. Can you? I don't understand. It's like these even if I it. even if I was paying these people and had them working for me, I'd be like, uh, "You're making me not, look stupid." Yeah, yeah, you're now you're now yeah, you're crossing like, the line. This is ridiculous. Megan has no claim to anything. You know, I mean, it, it, Harry doesn't either. But if they at least said it to Harry, like May, I mean, that's that's a little more understandable. But Megan's Megan's property. <laughs> She's queen. She's queen. She's queen of Montecito. So she says, you know, I mean, from what I, from what I understand, her neighbors really are not happy with them and want them out of there. Okay. I, I have a lot of friends in Montecito. Okay. That, that I made on my own accord just because uh, I was going to take a job there a few years back and I was looking for rentals and mm -hmm. ran into this very nice person who called me back and says, I called you back because you have a really famous last name. And I said, Oh, here we go. You know, and she says, no, I live right down the street from your sister. And I was going to rent her guest house because I was had a really good job offer in Santa Barbara. But then I decided not to because uh, of I would be labeled as a stalker and all this shit. I already know that. So, But one day I was coming back from Oregon and a friend of mine has a spot in Lompoc also. And this gal calls me up and she goes, she goes, where are you right now? And I said, I'm coming down PCH, coming down the coast. And she goes, okay, you have to stop in Montecito. You're going to be my guest tonight at the Miramar for the Amethyst Ball. And I go, uh, I'm sorry, but I can't afford the Miramar. <laughs> That's extreme. It was like five grand a night to stay there. And she goes, no, 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 you're my guest. Don't, don't you worry. That night, I was introduced to some of the really coolest, nicest people in Montecito. And I made a lot of friends. And I had been back for uh, Girls Inc., the Roaring Twenties, uh, all these other fundraisers. Um, 
it's just, you know, really a bunch of good people. And the things that I hear, it's just, it's no doubt. Nobody likes them. Um, the same with Kevin Costner's party. I got invited to that. And she goes, she goes, well, um, Megan and Harry are going to be here. And I go, well, I definitely don't want to go then because I already know what's going to happen. She's already got the press there. Just like at the polo game. You'd I was be at a, stalking her. You'd I was at, I, her. listen, I was, I was at, uh, another function for, um, Oh, my friend Rick's girlfriend's thing. She has the dance thing up there. And we were at the polo grounds. Where, that's where the party was. And I was hanging out, having a good time as usual. And somebody came up to me and they go, hey, your, your brother-in-law is across practicing in the field. And I'm like, oh, God, here we go again, you know. So I knew I, I kind of knew that it, it's just I already knew where it was going to be. And then they said, are you coming to the polo game tomorrow? And we asked at the, at the thing and we were going to go. But then they said it got canceled for a security breach. Well, that's me, of course, the security breach. And it's just the writing on the wall. But, you know, it's just it's just amazing what you hear and, and what my friends told me about Kevin Costner's party, which was just incredible. He was trying to avoid them like the plague. Oh. And, and she, she like, you know, he was ducking around poles and trying to get away and move. But... It's like she had like laser beam vision on him. I think she wanted to, you know, just show that. And she had really no business being there. You know, she wasn't there to give awards away. She wasn't. Well, she it's, sure tried. I know. And she picked up that award and she gave yeah. it to Harry and then she pushed Harry across the stage. Yeah. Like Harry and she tried to grab did. that lady's mic. I mean, it's how embarrassing. <laughs> That's all she does. And she but, did something else there, too. And, and Kevin Costner had said, like, some of the guests here are so rude. Yeah, <laughs> talking about yeah. Her. some of my rude friends asking, you know, how much all this, how costs. much it costs. That's right. That's right. Yeah. How much it costs. You know, that's just like the polo match that um, that just took place that Harry was riding against. Now, here's Harry playing against Nacho, who's a professional player on a field that was cut off, only invited guests and only invited um, players, you know, Paps. You, yeah. If you weren't invited, you couldn't get in. You had to be approved by them. And of course, Harry beat Nacho, a professional polo player. Oh, yeah. A yeah. Nacho. You know, he hand him the, the trophy. I mean, it's like. Chase oh, the trophy. God. Yeah. Well, the, at the polo grounds in, uh, in uh, Santa Barbara, the same thing happened with that trophy. Yeah. What, what, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Is that the one they put over her head? Yeah. <laughs> that was the funniest thing I ever saw. It's like, and we're presenting the trip out. this year. I mean, like, leave. It's, I mean, it's, she's that's nobody. Why people don't like anything. her. She's nobody to present anything. And and what she did to that woman from Centavale, <laughs> it's just like she went yeah. up and to take a picture next to Harry. Do you think she like didn't want a, a woman next to Harry or uh, an African American woman next to Harry? Because we know that she really doesn't like that demographic. Well, let me just say, she, well, no, she's she. I don't think she wants any woman next to Harry. But to be fair, I don't think she wants Harry touching the men either. You guys talked about that earlier. I did a whole video. It's on my Patreon, so that YouTube can't censor me. I think Harry's bisexual, and I put up a lot of videos and pictures to back up my thought process. So I, well, I think that's when I remember she pushed all, him over and then she elbowed him so that he would step over. All I know is dad told me the other day he wants his money back from Northwestern. <laughs> because Thomas, I have a question for you. It didn't work. <laughs> I, I have a question for you. You may not be able to answer it. There was a rumor that Meghan Markle was involved in some hazing in her sorority. Um, which apparently that kind of thing goes on all the time, but apparently she's being accused of gluing somebody's eyes shut with super glue. And supposedly your dad went down there, paid off some stuff and there was a gag order put in place. I'll ask, him. I'll, ask him. I'll ask him if that's true. Ask him but. if that's true. Cause the sorority apparently uh, did not celebrate uh, Megan's wedding. And people well, thought that was odd. That could be for a number of reasons. <laughs> yeah. That's true too. Yeah. But well, you know, once you once you're on that special list in life, you know, it's like word gets around. So yeah. But but anyway, you guys, I, I gotta cut it short. I gotta get over to dad's. 
And oh, uh, that's cool. Tell uh, them everybody said hello. Tell yes, them I said hello. I will. And I, I will. I'll ask him about that. I'll ask him about the hazing because I asked him. Oh, let me say this. I asked him about prison, Doria's prison, and I, I did that on my show. And I called Lady C also and asked her, and she says I, she never said 10 years, but she does have the records, and da, da 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 so there was something there, according to Lady C. So I asked Dad, and he goes, no, that's not true at all. He goes, there was there was a period of about six months to a year where I, where I knew she was not around at all, but there wasn't, I don't think there was one birthday or maybe one that she wasn't available for Megan's birthdays. So there was a time period of six months to a year of her missing. So, but that doesn't mean that she was in Megan's life. She could have been off and, you know, farting around somewhere else. But as far as going to prison for 10 years, that's, you know, you wouldn't be able to cover that up. But you could get a suspended sentence and only do six months to a year on something bigger. I that's know that. true. She could have gotten a 10 year suspended sentence, but only did. Yeah. Six months or a year. Six months to a year. Yeah. Allegedly, but who knows? But Lady T's got the documents, she's got the court case, she's got the booking number, all that stuff. So, yeah, but. she's very thorough in her research. She's like Tom Bauer and Valentine Lowe, none of who have been sued by anything they put in their books because everything they can back up everything they say. Lady yeah. C is the same, and that's why she said, Bring it on, <laughs> right? Right. So. Well, Appreciate okay, it. well, thank you for thank you for doing this live and everything. Hopefully, we can do it again. Oh yeah, definitely. Hopefully, you, uh, hopefully you had a, an an okay time and everything. I know we did. I know the, uh, I, I I know Gertie, the, uh, the natives. Did. The natives in the chat chat had a good time and everything. So who knows? Maybe we'll maybe again. maybe I'll be out in that neck of the woods sometime soon, and we could do it in person. Oh, that, oh, Ooh. that would be fun. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah. Maybe I'll get a wig too. Well, I don't need a wig. No, I'd get a wig. <laughs> it yeah. needs to be. Yeah, you get a long black wig, and I'll bring chick magnet. <laughs> yeah we can do that so, we can do that uh, okay well we'll let you go and we'll talk to you soon okay you guys thanks for having me and bye okay. sue and thank bye. you okay bye. see ya oh where'd it go where did it go i'll get you off thomas oh he's still there so, oh there so, he goes so that was that was fun he seems I think like everybody had a good time Seems like a very nice guy. He doesn't seem at all like the way they portray regular, him. In the he's just a regular guy. They're all yeah. just regular people. That's what the thing is. And people say, oh, they're bullying Megan. How can Tiny Tim bully Ebenezer Scrooge or however you want to put it? They say we're the biggest bullies. No, you know, and putting me in that Netflix documentary, that's 80 million people. I have 30,000 subscribers. And, and I, I only had 10,000 at the time. So who's the bully? I I feel I really feel bad for them because you've got two just him and his sister, they're just regular people, and they don't have the kind of resources that Megan has, which she has only because she married Hagen, um Harry. Everything she has, the money, the prestige, the platform, Miss Feminist got by marrying a man. So right. she couldn't do it on her own. She married. Harry and she's been, right. Well, I know, think he's part of the around. bullying too. I mean, he's, yeah. he's yeah, it's not totally her. I you mean, know, can I just know. say I always felt bad for Harry, but lately I think I I read it somewhere. I saw it somewhere that the we're so glad these two people married because if they didn't, there'd be four people that were miserable instead oh, of yeah, two totally. people miserable. Well, Harry could never. Harry could. Somebody said to me in the comments like a sugar was like, "You're just mad that no one you couldn't get anybody to marry you." Well, neither could Harry until Megan. Until Megan, Megan wanted. Megan doesn't. Really, Listen, having Harry in the house is probably like having a third child. She literally has no one. When I see that video after the wedding, it's at Charles's 70th birthday party, you know, the behind the scenes video. And he's standing there with a hat and an umbrella in his hand. And he goes, what do I do with these while I'm talking? And Megan goes, well, I'll hold them for you. Like he's a five-year-old. I'll have to send you that clip. It's like. He's like, I'm like, what do you mean what you do with them? Put the hat on your head, prop the umbrella up against something. Or when you go out to speak, turn around and go, hey, would you mind holding these for a minute? But he's standing there going, what do I do with these? I, I yeah, I don't know how either one of them puts up with the other. I mean, 
I well, really for don't. him, he thinks that Megan's his mother. She's become like his surrogate mother. It's disgusting. I mean, she's when when he sat on that show and they said, well, "What's your favorite smell?" and he goes, "Megan," knowing oh. that Megan wears <laughs> his mother's Ew. perfume. He could have said her perfume, not no, Megan. No, he said Megan, and she wears his mother's perfume. I was like. Like, disgusting. Such an inappropriate answer. It should have been her perfume. What does it say? Megan has made Harry mentally dependent. Yeah, she really has. He's She's reduced him. Ugh. She's reduced him. And let me just say, and I've said this before in other videos, if this had been a, um, a woman who met a man from another country and they got married and then she was pulled away and cut off from her family, people would be screaming from the rooftops about abuse but since it's the other way around nobody's saying anything right just saying all, all right. right i am gonna go and let you finish up with your people okay how does that all sound? right well it was, it was good time thanks for coming on thank you for having me hey everybody You're very don't welcome. forget to subscribe yes like subscribe you know the deal you know the deal subscribe. all right see ya all right bye honey okay see ya so I heard Jody text me that uh, there were a lot of you that did super chats and um, you don't under, like the, the setup that screen your, there's a lot going on with it, like the back screen and little things and flying everywhere, things flying everywhere. So I didn't see the super chats with your questions for Thomas Markle. If there's any way that you can get a return on those, because I don't want to just take the money that, and you didn't get your your aunt your questions answered if there's any way you can take that back um please do so and then we'll figure out something and if you can't we'll figure something out to get to get you what you paid for because you know i'm i don't want to yeah you know what i'm saying so please take it back if you can um and next time he comes on uh thomas mark next time we he comes on you can just you know, ask the questions and we'll make sure if I don't see them, I'll have Jody text me. So I don't, I don't miss them. Um, but Thomas Markle and I have been acquainted for like a year and we talked on Instagram and I never wanted to ask him to do a live because I don't want to like put them, him in that situation. You know what I mean? Like, like where he feels pressured or whatever. So he finally asked me to do one, come on, on, on Sunday. So I think we'll be able to do some more. So if you can't get your money back, we'll make sure to get get those questions asked for you so thank you very much for coming everybody um hey trevor hey cc now i can see the comments when i have three people on it's really hard to see them and they go flying up on the screen and they they're flying on the side and the there's these little squares and everything there's just so much going on that <laughs> and i use my smaller laptop for this because the the um camera is better than the, the other laptop so it's just you know you know, nothing's ever easy. So um, thank you guys. And uh, we will talk to you soon. I appreciate you coming and uh, hope you guys had a good time. I, I had a great time with Thomas and I, I think, you know, everybody asked, at least myself, Gertie and Sue were able to ask him a lot of good questions. Hopefully they that had some answers for you guys and um, we'll do it again. All right. See you guys.